Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Space Ranger. Starring Richard Crane. In Blast Off, Chapter One. Jets on automatic control, Bobby, but uh, watch it anyway, huh? Sure, Rocky. the oxygen equipment. I'll help you fix it, Rocky. Well, first, we'd have to find the spot. Then the oxygen pumps would have to be shut off. We've got to make a landing somewhere to do that. Bobby, get the space helmets ready. I'll check the visiograph for some place to land. So we'll head for that planetoid. I thought this was an unexplored area, Rocky. It is. I haven't any idea what planetoid that is. But if we get off course, holler. Here, give me one of these. I'm going to check it on the spectroscope. You hang on to yours. We may need them soon. Well, Bobby, it must have been born under a lucky star. That planetoid has an oxygen spectrum almost the same as Earth. down in that flat valley. Secure. Hold tight, Bobby. We'll be using the braking rockets. Is fulfilled, Toro, my father. The old high has returned. We must go to meet him. He will come to us, Moana, daughter. He is all knowledge, all wisdom, all power. But he has been away for a hundred lifetimes. Even a hundred lifetimes could not make him lose his way. Polly. Polly, the guiding flame may be lighted. Toro. My hill people do not believe there is an All-High who rules everything. Zekar, you must have faith in the All-High. My hill people accept you as a leader even as you rule the valley people. But this unknown ship out of the Great Dome brings evil to all of us. I know it does. Do not fear the unknown, Zekar. Cavemen, Rocky. Yes. Looks as if we've come onto a primitive people, Bobby. A little 
magic may scare them off. What's that rock there? We don't have to be afraid now, do we, Rocky? Well, we still have a job. To convince whoever's in the next valley that we've come as friends. step I ever took. They dig their animal pits deep. They'll be surprised at what they caught this time. Yes, if some animal doesn't drop in to keep us company. You should have brought the ladder along. Doesn't it, Rocky? Must be a way out of here, Bobby. If we could just think of one. Couldn't we dig out some steps? We've been trying to think of something to dig with, but our hands are useless against this shale. spell on you, Sekar. Your eyes wouldn't see Moana. They've seen nothing but you for many seasons and would find the smallest change. There's none, Sekar, none. That charm makes it sound like a beating heart. How? The All High will explain. Then where is he? You heard Ruab say he attacked some of the hill people, split the rocks with a magic flame and then vanished. Where? Have patience, Zekar. Learn to have my father's faith. For one day you will lead our people in his place. And both our people will be joined as one. Your union will end the strife between the hill men and the valley men that has wasted our land for a thousand lifetimes. The All High has come to add his blessings. Don't you see, Zekar? Then why does he delay? <laughs> Oh, we're still here. Bobby, that new gadget you have. I mean the instrument that sounds like some new kind of bird. Oh, you mean the space lark. Well, whatever it is. Do you have it with you? Sure, but it can't make you fly like a space lark. It only sounds like one. It may give us wings, Bobby. It just may. 
Let's hear it, Bobby. You see, nothing happened. Between us at intervals, we'll keep blowing your space lark. Someone will pass by and hear it. They'll come in and get us out. I knew you'd find a way to do it, Rocky. We still have a concert to give. All right, who starts? Me. You watch me. I'll show you how to do it. All right. Nahima is waiting. Did he send you to find us? Moana sent me. Moana? Daughter of the Nahima. We'll follow you. Welcome all. You were very long on the way. Oh, uh, well, we fell by accident into a pit set to trap wild animals. Your man found us and helped us out. You are the all-high, all-power. Why didn't you rise out of the pit yourself? Words say car can give false meanings. Choose words carefully. Ask instead of the all-high, why did you wait in the pit? And the answer comes unspoken. He was testing us. Would we go to find him as he came to seek us? You see, Zekar, you're answered. If I may, uh, I think I can explain. We're from the planet Earth, the third planet in the orbit of the sun. We were forced to land because our ship was damaged. Now, if we may be permitted to... You need not test us further, All High. I'm trying to correct a misunderstanding. It was corrected a hundred lifetimes ago. We have waited through all that time for your return. Refresh yourself. Moana, my daughter, will show you your couch. Your journey was long. You were tired. You understand. I'm not any all high. I'm from. Do you know the planet Earth? Planet? I do not know the word planet. Well, a planet is another world. A world like yours, far off in space. Oh, there is no other. Above us is the great dome, where torches burn at night to guide us to our forefathers when life is over. No, Moana, what you see are stars and other planets. Now, I can point out the one that's planet Earth. We've come from there. Moana, I'm not all high. My father said you'd test me. I'm trying to make you understand. All high. It is inscribed here with your words. You can read them. Can, uh, you read them? Give, and you receive. I return the life you gave me. In a hundred lifetimes, I will rejoin you. And now a hundred lifetimes have passed.
They want to make an idol of you, don't they, Rocky? Yes, Bobby. And I don't like it. Primitive people with primitive ideas resent having their ideas changed. We can work on the orbit jet, and nobody will bother us. After the repairs are made, we can blast off before anyone knows what's happening. Toro Nahima says I am to serve you and to protect your son. This is Bobby. Bobby? Bobby. It is good. I am Foley. You two get acquainted, huh? Bobby, make the music again. Here, you try it, Foley. change what you believe. I have not much time to change my life. If I told you that when our spaceship was repaired, we'll leave and return to our own world, what would you say? My people have worshipped the All High since before memory. There's a shrine where none but he may enter. A home has been prepared at the edge of a fertile valley where only he may set foot. Because it is written the second time he comes, he will remain. Does that answer your question, all high? Yes. It tells me the faith of all your people could be destroyed. Rob man of his faith. What is left? I'd like to see the shrine. Would you take me there? Yes, all high. No near. It is forbidden. Only you may enter. Do not touch it. I was going to pick it for Moana. It is the flower of death. A single scratch from it and your life is ended. It's such a pretty flower, Rocky. No, Bobby. Better leave the bouquets to Moana. Come on. Stranger has cast a spell over Toro and Moana. She doesn't have time or word for me anymore. My union with the Valley tribe will soon be broken. We'll be at war again. There's only one way to end the evil. The stranger must be destroyed in a ship with the flames. Rab will stay in the hills with you to carry out our plans. It looks like a flying saucer. Yes. It's been here for many generations. Can you tell where it came from? Now, the spaceship came from somewhere out of the solar system. From some star planet that was further advanced in space travel hundreds of years ago than we are today. Why haven't they come back here? Well, that's something we may never know. Hey, Bobby, I've just had a crazy idea. Is it something about this flying saucer? Yes. If it reached here from some star system, then we could travel to the star system from here. We would be the first ones to reach a star. 
Not so fast, Bobby. It's just an idea, you know. But this planetoid could serve as an outer station for blastoff on celestial travel. But the people here think this is the only planet. What would they do? Well, it would change their whole way of life, and that could take a long time. Maybe we won't leave as soon as we plan. There's a lot of work to be done here. We better get back to the orbit jet. couldn't blast off even if we wanted to. Can't you repair the ship, Rocky? Yeah, not without some spare parts. One of those meteorites burned right through the oxygen compressor shaft. I don't think you'll find any spare parts in this planet. Well, if we can't bring in some help, we may be here for a long time, Bobby. Hi, Pauly. You're setting some kind of radar signal. That's a chance, Bobby. We have to hope that some spaceship picks it up. But I don't know if we can reach the usual travel lanes. The ship wouldn't have to follow the signal and come here, would it? Well, not unless we were able to read the signal. Can you read it, Bobby? It sounds like a code. Celestial code. Signaling. Orbit jet. Orbit jet. Orbit jet. They'll know who's signaling. Secretary Drake may have sent out some spaceships to search for us. Our only chance is that one of them picks up the signal. And if they don't? Well, Bobby, in that case, we'll just have to uh, settle down and join the Valley Tribe. Time, same station, when we again take you into outer space for further adventures with Rocky Jones. Space Rangers.